Dayon Dunlap here with Deontay Anderson, H-Town born. How does it feel to be back in your hometown? Man, it feels great. It's a blessing, man. Um, I know I have you know, things to work out where I was, but at the end of the day, I'm, I really, I really love being back home. All my family can come, and you know, after the game, I can have fun like I want to. So it's just, it's just great being here. I know you played in high school with Derek. So what was that conversation like between you two? Like, hey, bro, I might be coming back home. Yeah. So actually, he, he knew I was supposed to go to Oklahoma at first when I was transferring. And uh, I was telling him, man, now nah, I'm going, you know, I'm going to go to Oklahoma. And he was telling me, you know, because Apple I wanted him to come here and things like that. And then things didn't work out there. And I told Derek, I said, man, bro, I'm really thinking I'll just come back home. He was like, bro, for real, for real. And uh, I, um, right before I told Coach Applewhite, I told Derek I'm coming, and I called Coach Applewhite like at 10 at night. It was, I'm, I'm happy that I can be home, man. And how does it feel really for you personally to put that Houston across your chest, slicing up, coming out in that red and white? How does it feel? Me personally, I feel like Houston's the best city on earth. So you got to rep your city as best as you can. And it feels like I say, it's a blessing. It's great to represent Houston, my city, and just for my family as well. How important is it for you, for your family, to be able to see you play here? Uh, I'm a family person. Um, most, most, most of all, I mean, as long as my parents come, because they haven't missed, they have not missed a sports game ever since I started and parents and grandparents, but it's more, I feel more, you know, great when my uncles and aunts, all cousins, all them can come to the game and watch me, you know, do the best I can. Your dad played professional football in the USFL. Uncle played in the NBA for like 11 seasons, also UH alumni. So who's the best athlete <laughs> in the family? <laughs> me. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, I always tell my, I argue my dad about this. He's like, I made you though. But uh, actually, Quiet kept my, uh, my mom, she, she could have went to the Olympics. She just had some things happen to her in high school, but she she, she was she was fast, she was so fast. yeah, so. So how you settle in on that back end? It's kind of like a, a point guard role type of getting the defense set up. So how does it feel for you as far as the leader being on the back end? Yeah, uh, well, well, really, I just like, I know coming in first couple games, I had to get my feedback wet because I had it set out a whole year. And I knew, I knew Tulsa game was going to be a great game. You had a uh, conference place just started. Great, great, uh, great way to start to you know finish the eight week, eight week run we were trying to have, and um, I said why not try to go ahead and do the best I can, get you know force some fumbles, get the ball, and help the offense out. Your nickname is D Train. Yeah. <laughs> How long you had that nickname? How did it come about? I had a nickname since I was seven years old. I used to play running back. I used to be like fat though, and I just <laughs> just run over everybody. And like um, when I got got to junior high, I was like it's gonna go away, but it got even more bigger. I was like, okay, high school is gonna go away. And he even got more being in high school. I was like, okay, for sure college is gonna go away. For sure, yeah. man. Well, thank you for sitting down with me. Hopefully you continue to ball out for the yeah. season. Appreciate yeah, Richard, season goes. Yeah. Appreciate you, thank you.